Welcome. On this video, we're going to talk about the idea of a circumscribed triangle. So given this triangle that we have here on the bottom, what we want to do is we want to create a circle inside the triangle. And the way that we're going to do that is by identifying the in-center of this triangle. And remember how do we find the in-center? The in-center is the intersection of the angle bisectors. So essentially what we want to do here is we want to bisect every single angle within this triangle. So let's do that. Let's start by bisecting angle A. So let me just put my compass at angle A. Let me just create an arc. So here it is. That's my arc. Now, let me just measure more than a half of this arc. So here we have it at the bottom. This is the full length of arc A. So let me just measure it a little bit less than a half. Let me create a mark on the inside and let me do the same coming from the other vertex. So there it is. Now that intersection in there, let's connect it with the vertex. So that's an angle bisector. And if that's the case, then we know that this angle is equivalent to this angle. Now let's go to angle B. So here it is, angle B. Place my metal leg on the vertex and create some arc. So I'm just gonna make this arc. And now let's measure more than half the length of this arc. So let me put my metal leg on the top. Notice that that's the full length of this arc. So let me just close it a little bit. That's more than a half. Let me create my mark on the inside. And let's do the same from the other point. So here it is coming from the other point. That's my second mark. Now notice that there's an intersection going on in there. Well, let's connect my vertex to the intersection. So there it is. And again, if this is an angle bisector, then we know that this angle is congruent to this angle. Now let's go to angle C. So same idea. Let's just create an arc. Open it. Here's my arc. Now let me measure more than half the arc. So that's the full length of this arc. Let me just close it a little bit. That's definitely more than a half. Let me create my mark on the inside. Let me just make this a little more. There it is. Let's, let me move it up over here. And let me look for that intersection. So there it is. That's my intersection. Now, if we move my compass, notice that if we connect the vertex to that intersection, this is my angle bisector. And if it's an angle bisector, then I know that this angle is equivalent to this angle. But one thing to notice is that all these angles bisectors, they intersect at a point. And that point, it's right here. Now, this is the point that we're going to define as the in center of my circle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my compass. And I'm going to assume that this is the center of the circle that I want to create. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my compass. And I'm just going to measure it enough to one of the sides of my triangle. So knowing that this is the center of my circle, let me measure the distance from that center to one of the sides of this triangle. And I'm going to assume that that is the radius of the circle that I want to create. So at this point, I know the center, I know the radius. Let me just rotate my compass and notice what we are creating here. We are creating a circle contained within the triangle. Therefore, we have constructed a circumscribed triangle. Hello. If you would like to continue to learn about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.